Hi, this is Tyson with JavaScript Vignettes, and today we're going to be looking at how to create a React Native application and run it on an iOS and Android emulator. So we're going to start out by uh, getting our terminal, and I'm going to go to this folder, and I'm going to um, create a new uh, React application. And the way you do that is you uh, first of all have to get the React um, native CLI, so I'm going to do npm install global React native CLI. And so that will install um, the React native CLI that I can use now to uh, build my uh, React native application. So using that, I'm going to, um, I'm going to type React native init and then the name of the uh, app that I'm creating. So we're just going to call this example, or actually, let's, let's call this a uh, Star Wars app, because we'll be building on this um, as, as we go. So now it's installing all the dependencies, and this will take a minute. Um, it, it has a lot of different dependencies it has to go out and grab and uh, kind of prepare the project for you. Almost done. And it links all the dependencies, um, and then it's going to link some more dependencies, and it's done. So now we have a new project. So what we do now that we have it is we can go into that directory. So um, we call this uh, Star Wars app. So we're going to uh, go into the Star Wars app directory, and then um, to run it on Android or on the iOS first, we're going to do React Native run. IOS and it tells you right here that you can do that so you know that's a thing um, and so I'm gonna hit that and it's gonna start running my application so it's gonna launch an iPhone emulator um, and you can also you can also uh, emulate on a physical device too but uh, but for our example this is uh, how we're gonna do it today it's got to do a lot of uh, setup work the first time it starts, but once this starts, it will uh, it'll be good to go, and you can develop against it from then on out. So it's kind of booting up a uh, a development server that you can that you can work with. Um, and I'm just going to let this run until until it opens um, instead of instead of cutting to uh, it being done, just so that you can see like the all the messages you'll probably receive and uh, and how long it'll probably take you to boot it up. And also, I should note that um, when you're when you're uh, starting this, you do need to have Xcode installed on your machine, and um, that's that's going to be important. And um, you'll need to have it properly configured so that it will work on React Native. So here, um, it's actually starting up the server in this new terminal window. I'll just take this over to the side here. Okay, here it goes. It's actually starting up the app there in the emulator. All right, there we have it. This is our, our first React Native app, and it, it worked on iOS. So now let's turn around and uh, and see what we can do to get it to work on Android. So it's very similar to how we did it on iOS, except um, we're going to do React Native run Android. So it says that our server is already running. That's running over here in this other terminal window. Uh, 
and it says that our build failed. And the reason for that is that we don't have a, a emulator. So if we do uh, ADB devices, you'll see that there's no devices currently attached. Um, and if, if you're not familiar with developing with Android, you probably should check out some kind of course on, on how to uh, get started there. But what we need to do is we need to open up Android Studio. So we're opening that now. And now that Android Studio is open, what we can do is we can go to Tools, Android, AVD Manager. And this will give us a list of all of our uh, devices that, that are uh, currently installed. And um, you can install other uh, devices and emulators if you, if you need to. But we're going to go ahead and launch this one, hitting the play button. Alright, so now we have our emulator, so now if we list the devices again, you'll see that it shows up in our um, list of devices. And so taking that, we can uh, run React Native, run Android again, and this time it will work. All right, so now our React Native app is running in both Android and iOS at the same time, which is awesome. So now what we want to do is kind of look at our code and see um, if we can if we can uh, just modify something real fast. So I'm going to take our Star Wars app and throw it into my editor. Okay, and so you can see here we have an index.ios and an index.js or index.android.js file. So these um, anything any file that has a dot android is going to be targeted towards Android. Anything that's dot ios is going to be targeted towards iOS. Um, but you can also use them without the those extensions, and it will just render like if you just had an index.js, it would render the same thing for both of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder called source and I'm going to make a file in here called app.js and we're just going to make a really simple little react uh, hello world kind of thing. So um, we're going to import uh, react from react and we're going to import uh, the view and the text components from react native. So now we're going to build our component. We're going to uh, call this component app, and then we're not even going to take any props. It's going to just have a view. And the view is kind of like a wrapper that you put around um, around your content. But you, if you have text, you need to have it inside of a text component because putting text directly inside of a view is going to throw an error. So now we're going to add some text. We're going to say, uh, Star Wars app. And I'm just going to put a little bit of style on here so that we can see this because it's going to show up behind the bar. Um, so we're going to say uh, margin top is like 100. And then we'll just center this. All right. And so we're going to export the app. Is our default export, and then we can go into our uh, index.android file, and we can actually just import that app we just made. So we'll import app from source slash app, and we actually won't need any of this stuff anymore. Um, so we can just remove that. We won't need component anymore either. So we can actually remove all of this, 
and uh, we're just passing the app in instead of the uh, Star Wars app that we had before. And I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it into the index.ios. So it's uh, we're using the same app for both iOS and Android now. And so now if I go back to my uh, iPhone emulator and I refresh it, it says Star Wars app. And you, uh, you can refresh your uh, iOS um, app by doing Command R inside of it. So then if I wanted to refresh my Android app, which um, you do Control M and then hit Reload, it, uh, it will refresh that and it says Star Wars app. So now we're, you can tell that we just updated this you know, live and we have you know, our first app. It's not doing much because we're going to be building on it as we go, but it's you know, the beginning of it. And so we'll be looking more um, at how we, we can uh, work with React Native in our upcoming uh, JavaScript vignettes. So thanks for watching, and uh, this has been Tyson, and I hope you enjoyed it.